Art of Drumming is not just a YouTube channel, but also a free platform where you can find numerous drum-related courses filmed by major international artists. Head on over and join our growing community. Founded in 2011, the American funk project Wolfpack gained worldwide recognition for their unique sound, virtuoso playing, and outstanding groove. While Woody Goss sticks to the keys and Joe Dart to his legendary bass playing, multi-instrumentalists Theo Katzman and Jack Stratton switch between different instruments all the time, and when it comes to drums, those two switch back and forth constantly. They've created a signature sound that is recognizable immediately, no matter which one of them is playing. Simple repetitive grooves, a short and muffled low snare, and no fancy show-off fills, that's what Wolfpack's drumming stands for. For this video we picked one of their most popular tunes, Back Pocket. Here's a glimpse of the original recording. Besides the music and the sound of the band, the Wolfpack videos have their own highly recognizable aesthetic and a huge share in their success. With an old school retro look and a super cozy vibe, they support the music just perfectly. To create a similar atmosphere, we looked for anything that looked old school and cozy and brought all those things into our studio. So welcome to our Art of Drumming Wolfpack living room. Now let's get back to the drums. In the recording video of Back Pocket, you can see Stratton playing a 20-inch kick drum, a 14-inch Ludwig Acrylite snare, and one cymbal. The only other part of this kit is a small cowbell mounted on the bass drum. We started with the bass drum and went with our 20 by 14 Pearl President kick. The retro look and the round bearing edges of this drum suit the needs perfectly. We kept the stock batter head and used a single ply ambassador with a porthole as a rezzo head, just like in the original video. To get the short and characteristic Wolfpack kick drum sound, you also need muffling, so we stuffed two blankets inside the drum shell, touching both drum heads. Here's our isolated wolf kick. Now let's continue with the snare. Since we had no acrylite around, but wanted to get as close as possible to the original aluminum drum, we decided to pick our 14x5 Yamaha Recording Custom Aluminum. With that much muffling happening afterwards, the drum head choice is not that decisive, but we stayed with the ambassador coated head that was already on the drum. Pascal then tuned it to the pitch of the original and placed one of Mr. Muff's muffins on top. You could also use a kitchen towel or something similar, but with the muffin the felt ring helps to keep the muffling in place and it's just a little bit easier. Give it a listen. In the next step, we converted the cymbal arm of the President bass drum to a cowbell holder and installed a Latin percussion Black Beauty cowbell. Since the tone was too long, one of Remo's crown gels placed inside the cowbell helped to get a drier sound. The only cymbal of the setup is a 20-inch Zildjian Avidis. The miking is pretty easy. One SM57 hanging from the bass drum in front of the porthole and one ribbon overhead where we used a bi-directional M130. When we listened back to the signals, we thought we would need an additional snare mic to get the sound right, but during the mixing process, it became clear that compression and the right EQing made the snare mic unnecessary. So even though the snare mic is there in the video, it's muted in the final mix. Now let's switch the look to wolf mode and enjoy an excerpt of Pascal's drum cover of Back Pocket.
When we decided to do a video about Wolfpack, one of their side projects came to mind all the time. The Fearless Flyers. Featuring the legendary Nate Smith on drums, this band's groove is outstanding. With Joe Dart on bass and Mark Ledieri and Corey Wong on guitar, there's a good chance of sudden stank face moments whenever you hear them. The song we picked is called Ace of Aces and sounds like this. It's so much fun to listen to Nate Smith playing simple grooves like that. The super short kick drum, with only one drum head he plays in the video, reminded us a lot of our Yamaha Stage Custom Hip 20x8, so we installed a coated ambassador head on this kick drum and removed the rezzo head. This looks super close to what Smith played in the original. With one large pillow placed inside the kick drum, this is the final bass drum sound. The snare he uses is an old 14x5 chrome over brass Rogers Dynasonic with a piece of cloth covering the batter head. We picked the exact same drum. Once again, with this much muffling, the drum head choice is not that crucial and so we kept the Diplomat fiber skin that was already installed. After tuning the drum to the pitch of the original, the muffin worked well once again. This is our Ace of Aces snare sound. The only part of the kit missing is the hi-hat, and for this one we went with 15-inch carapy hats. The miking is pretty basic once again. An AKG D12 pressed against the pillow of the bass drum, the M130 as a mono overhead, and this time the M88 we placed for the snare was also necessary in the mix. Pointing the mic at the rim of the snare, rather than at the drum head, worked best for our needs. Here is Fearless Pascal with his version of Ace of Aces. Recreating this sound was a lot of fun. Even though Wolfpack uses an old school sound and the whole project is not about reinventing the wheel, the music they create is super fresh and they surely are one of the most interesting projects of the last years. Now what do you think of their sound? And do you use similar drum sounds yourself? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more recreation videos in the future.